Hello? It's not even going yet. You know what I want? Lip gloss. Because I'm a lady. I'm having a tough week. I'm going to just be real. I feel so insecure. Um, <laughs> my friend told me that they're taking two weeks to not watch any TV. And I was like, I wonder if there's something in here for me. So I've decided that this weekend, today is Thursday, um, I'm going to detox, if you will, from social media because I'm like, how insecure I feel is possibly directly related to how much time I spend on Instagram. So uh, here's my rules for myself. No Instagram feed. I may still want to post on Instagram. The way I'm going to manage it is by I've deleted it off my phone, so there's no accidentally opening it. And then if I do decide to post at any point, I'm just going to open it up, just post, uh, and that's it. Two, no Twitter on my phone. And, but same goes for Twitter. No Twitter feed. Um, I will still let myself use Twitter on my laptop, but only to look at indirects and mentions so I can still talk to y'all. I'm doing no TV. I will allow myself to watch one movie a day um on the condition that it's a movie i've never seen before and it has to be full screen and i can't have my phone on me which is to say if i'm watching a movie it's the only thing i'm doing i'm not allowed to have a movie on in the background or be doing something else while i watch the movie i will allow myself to watch youtube but again condition it has to be full screen i can't be doing something else at the same time no podcasts honestly i feel like i use podcasts just all the time as noise and i don't know if that's good for me so no podcasts let's see it's seven so i've already been doing it for three and a half hours i cleaned my room uh because what else am i doing um but not a deep clean just a surface clean so maybe this weekend i will like clean out some drawers or or you know go through this mess oh you can't even really see it it's where i keep all the things that I have thought I still want to hold on to, but I uh, never wear. That's not true. Actually, I wear the sweatshirts quite a bit, um, and they just take up too much space in the dresser, so that's why I keep them in there. Anyway, <laughs> look away. Also, no online shopping. I actually just came off of a month of not doing online shopping because, you know, you can use shopping as a quick high. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're lonely because you're not allowed to see any of your friends? Spend some money. That'll make you feel better. I might do some in-person shopping. I've lived here for a month. No, no, no. Sorry. A year and a half. And I still don't own a bedside lamp? What? So maybe that'll be one of my tasks for the weekend. <sighs> I was feeling, I was feeling like this realization of, um, I think fear really holds me back. And the funny thing about fear, like the fear of being rejected, the fear of failure, the fear of being bored, which is something I'm dealing with going into this, is that like the fear is almost always worse than the reality. Like actually being rejected is like, oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, not that it can't be sad. Y'all, I don't know if I stand by that. Uh, that... The way I was thinking about it earlier in my head felt better than how I said it just now, so maybe that's not right. But what I do love is that expression that I want to say is Michael Jordan, that you miss 100% of the shots that you don't take. So, anyway, day one, hour three. <laughs> Bye. My thing <laughs> with video is I like to have great audio. Um... More so than I'd like to have great video. I'm like, you know what? The video can look like anything. I want my audio to be beautiful. I just want it to be like I'm whispering into your ear. No matter how far I am from the camera. You know? Sorry, that was loud. Um, it's 8 p.m. And I decided to go to 7-Eleven because uh, I'm going to get some sparkling water. And um, maybe some Cherry Garcia. Okay, uh, I'll see you in a second. Bye. Okay, um, they didn't have uh, the sparkling water I wanted um, or any of the other brands of sparkling water that I'm down with. And it actually occurs to me that since it's only eight, I could have just gone to a grocery store, <laughs> uh, but I didn't. So instead I got kombucha. I've never tried this brand before. 
I'm very makeup guru using my hand to show off my booch. Um, and I got Terry Garcia, of course. <laughs> I have this idea for a verse for someone who's a little tougher than me. So uh, it goes something like, yes, I'm the sweetest Garcia. You'd have to figure out something to rhyme with Garcia. Look, I'm not... <laughs> It needs some workshopping. Maybe you could throw in an ABBA reference. Right, Mamma Mia. Okay, bye. All right, I'm home. I have fried rice, which I'm very excited about eating. I guess I'm going to pick my movie for the evening and um, eat dinner while I watch. Eating dinner doesn't count. You're allowed to eat and watch things at the same time. I know I said that when I watch something, I have to just be doing that, but I mean no two screens or no like cleaning, like just focus on the thing. Um. Okay, let's try this. This is um, ginger lemongrass mint. Wow, it smells like she. <laughs> hmm. I like it. It really feels like a fancy drink to me. Um, like it makes me feel like I'm at a fancy cocktail bar with my friends and I've ordered my signature. Bartender, can you make a virgin whatever? What should I watch tonight? Whoa. Do you hear that? That's fun. That's a fun thing that happened to me today. I already feel so much better. <laughs> I literally cried myself to sleep last night. Like, heavy sob. Over what? Because I'm uncool? You know, it's funny because like, what even is cool? I feel like cool is not caring what other people think of you. So by that definition, I'm incredibly uncool. But that's not even true. It's moment to moment. So it's like, yeah, last night I cared a lot. Right now I don't care at all. So <laughs> what am I looking for? Best picture Oscar list. I watched Casablanca. Um, few months ago it was so good it holds up sometimes like classic films the pacing is just so strange out of when you're like 60 years from when it was made <gasps> no oh! i just saw titanic on this list and i want to watch it so bad but i said i wouldn't watch films i've seen before oh okay that's fine it's fine um Oh, I'd love to watch Silence of the Lambs, another film I've already seen. Wow, The Godfather and The Godfather Part Two won a Best Picture. I've seen both of those now, just recently. I'm trying to make my way through this list, obviously, but very slowly. West Side Story, one of my favorites. Oliver won First Picture. Ooh, Gigi's on here. I really know nothing about Gigi, and it might be pronounced as Gigi. Um, maybe I'll do that. That might be fun. Where to stream GG. <gasps> okay, fun. That's something. I think the 60s is my favorite era of classic film. Um, GG came out in 1958. This delightful multi Oscar winner features a turn of the century Parisian tomboy who falls for her guardian. What? While being groomed as a courtesan? This movie is not what I thought it was about. And I wish I wouldn't have read that because that would have been much more shocking to go into it. But now we got to experience it all together. Anyway, I'm going to watch it. I'll check in with you later. How long is this video going to be? Should I do a video every day or should I do one really long video? You have no say. You'll just find out what I picked. <laughs> okay. Everything about that film was confusing. If you just listen to the description that I gave you at the beginning of this, you'd think it was, you know, gritty realism, which is definitely what I thought. And that would be your first mistake. It's a movie musical. Again, I'm like, is this supposed to be funny or romantic? Y'all heard the pitch. That's essentially what happens. But then add to that, the protagonist is the love interest, the guy, is unlikable in every day and has nothing redeemable about him. But again, it's a movie musical and every song is sung spoke. And I'm like, are these songs? Are they just someone talking over music? And I have to assume they're songs because I know there's a stage show of this. And it's not that it was the worst film I've ever seen. You know, like some movies you watch and you're like, it's fun how bad it was. This wasn't that. It just wasn't really good either. And my question is, the best picture part is really one of the most confusing parts of it. 
Um, did no other films come out this year? That's my thought on it. I don't know. I don't know, you know? Anyway, maybe I just did get it. <laughs> it's 10.52. I guess I'm going to go to sleep now. Uh, although I'm not tired, so maybe I'll edit this. I'm voting tomorrow. That's very exciting. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'll edit and decide once I've edited this portion if I'm going to upload them as separate videos or if I'm going to do it all in one. Or maybe I'll just upload one video. I mean, how interesting can this be? I'm doing nothing, essentially. I mean, that's not true. I'm like working, but I don't show that part because it would be... I don't understand... I do not understand how some artists like make documentaries of their like stuff as they're writing or like creating. To me, that is so distracting to be on camera and then try to exist in the vulnerability of being creative. I'm like, what? Anyway, these are <laughs> um, great. I'm gonna edit this, decide if I want to upload it or if I'm going to uh, do it in multiple pieces. If this is the, if you're seeing this video and it's almost at the end, let me know if you want to see more or if this is insufferably uninteresting. Uh, anyway, this video is sponsored by you being a fucking badass. <laughs> so have a great night. <laughs> it's nothing me insecure about. And I'm not saying that to myself because I don't feel insecure right now. Isn't that funny how it swings? It's just one and then the other. Anyway, okay. Night. <laughs>